sort of a follow-up, Mr. Blumenthal. You've talked about you want to incentivize small businesses. Tell me something. How do you create a job? A job is created, and it can be in a variety of ways, by a variety of people, but principally by people and businesses in response to demand for products and services. And the main point about jobs in Connecticut is we can and we should create more of them by creative policies. And that's the kind of approach that I want to bring to Washington. I have stood up for jobs when they've been at stake. I stood up for jobs at Alderman Motors when GM wanted to shut down that automobile dealership. I stood up for jobs at Pratt & Whitney when that company wanted to shift them out of state and overseas. I stood up for jobs at Stanley Works when it was threatened with a hostile takeover. I know about how government can help preserve jobs, and I want programs that provide more capital for small businesses, better tax policies that will promote creation of jobs, stronger intervention by government to make sure that we use the Made in America policies and Buy America policies to keep jobs here rather than buying products that are manufactured overseas as WWE has done. Ms. McMahon. Government, government, government. Government does not create jobs. It's very simple how you create jobs. An entrepreneur takes a risk. He or she believes that he creates a good or service that is sold for more than it costs to make it. And if an entrepreneur thinks he can do that, he creates a job.